Orange. They are incredible. Marvelous guys. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad to see you guys out here tonight uh, instead of at home watching television because that shit sucks. I mean, it really does. I mean, everything on it. Uh, I've been couch surfing. I've been living at my friend Phil's house and he watches TV from like 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. And everything between those hours sucks. And so I saw my first episode of CSI the other day and it was really fucking crazy, you know. The detective came up to the body and just looked at it and went, She's dead. I was like, no shit! She's in like four fucking pieces. And it was all about this guy who hired this other guy to kill this woman because she had some pictures of him in drag. And it made me sad to think that we're in this day and age where you can't even take some photos of yourself in drag without someone getting killed anymore. And he watches some other shows like The A-Team with that fool Pierre Baracus. And then uh, Magnum P.I. He watches that shit. Oh, and there's a, a character on Magnum P.I. called Higgins. And it cracked me up, you know, I laughed through the whole thing. Because Higgins was the name of this little dog that lived next door to us. And uh, one day my friend Chris, you know, early in the morning, really sleepy and half stoned, kind of ran over Higgins on his way to work because he was asleep <laughs> underneath his car, you know. And he didn't know what to do, he panicked. So he like grabbed the little dog and threw it in the dumpster. But it tore him apart every single day. And the guy was coming out to the yard every few hours going, Higgins, 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 come on. And my friend Chris was like, oh, shit dude this is terrible oh what the fuck so i decided to make things all better and he came home one day i was like hey dude you don't have to worry about anything anymore i, I patched up everything i left a note at the guy's house next door he's like what the fuck what did you leave i was like i, I wrote a note that said you never loved me you fed me low-grade dog food you bastard you'll never see me again higgins and he never called for his dog again so like problem solved no, but they need to bring back those uh, other murder shows on TV like Diagnosis Murder and uh, Murder She Wrote because uh, you just can't get enough murder on television. Oh, no, no, seriously. And somebody ought to ask questions about that old lady on Murder She Wrote because it seems like every time someone gets murdered, she's around the scene of the crime or some shit. You know, she's suspect. Reality shows is where it's at, though. I think that we ought to do a reality show called My Big Fat Pregnant Teenage Daughter because that guarantees a lot of drama. And one of those truth-telling TV, show, uh, TV shows, like To Tell the Truth, you know, they ask you questions like, have you ever cheated on your husband? Are you an alcoholic? Man, fuck that. Ask some real questions, like, uh, ever had a Cleveland fever? Or, uh, you know, ever practiced necrophilia? You know, that, that'll get you good ratings right there. And game shows, oh shit. Jeopardy used to be cool, but Alex Trebek, he's a Canadian wanker. Right? Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, fuck him. And the Wheel of Fortune? Anybody here watches that? Oh, dude, then you must be like uh, in a nursing home or a geriatric or something, because that shit fucking... The wheel is rigged. The wheel is rigged. If they can put a satellite in space, then they can rig that wheel. Because I saw this lady, she gave it a full spin, it was like, going full throttle, like, and here comes the bankrupt on da, 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 bankrupt. And it usually happens on the minorities for some reason, I don't know. Well, tonight uh, you've got a great rock show, as you can see, at the Wild Speed Orange, and you're about to see another band up here, and uh, maybe this isn't a, a rock show. You know, you're not gonna get any Led Zeppelin here, or any Aerosmith, but uh, this is what made Milwaukee famous from Austin, Texas. Thank you.